Welcome to your letter today. I'm Tom, and this is my partner, Ben. Here's our headlines. Since the beginning of 2017, Minnesota and Wisconsin has been getting the strongest winter storm ever. Plus, also in the headlines, we're going to talk about a cat playing with a baby. Your letter today starts right now. Since the start of 2017, a huge winter storm has reached Minnesota and Wisconsin all at once. And that right there, viewers, you call that a huge winter storm? Wrong! Tom, I'm not joking with the viewers. Let's move on. Switching gears now, a family member in Chicago, Illinois, has a cat and a baby that love playing with each other. Now this is interesting. We do wish we had the video, but they would not allow us to show it. Yeah, sorry for the confusion, viewers. But I guess we're going to have to deal with it. Alright, that's it. Coming up after the break, we do have a VHS tape recording video of Jim Crawford's sunroom at his house in Plum, Wisconsin. The live stream video by VHS tape recording shows the view of the snow in his backyard of his house. That's straight ahead after the break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this from a weather channel stations. Emily's just starting out and on a budget, like a ramen noodle every night budget. She thought Allstate car insurance was out of her reach until she heard about the value plan. And saving money with Allstate doesn't stop there. Kim and James are what you might call overly protective, especially behind the wheel. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, Allstate gives them a bonus twice a year for being safe drivers. Dollar for dollar, nobody protects you like Allstate. Right on cue. <laughs> it's more than just a meal. It's Meow Mix Meal Time. With wholesome ingredients and irresistible taste, no wonder it's the only one cats ask for by name. Geico? Yeah, I was just talking about your emergency roadside service and how it's available 24-7 and then our car overheaters. But what are the chances? Can you send a tow truck, please? Uh, the location? You're not going to believe this, but it's, um, it's in a tree. I wish I was joking, mate, but it's literally stuck in a tree. A chainsaw? No, no. All we really need is a tow truck. Day or night, Geico's emergency roadside service is there for you. I would do anything for love 
1931 was not exactly a great year to start a business, but that's when Allstate opened its doors. And through the 12 recessions since, they've noticed that after the fears subside, a funny thing happens. People start enjoying the small things in life. A home-cooked meal. Time with loved ones. Appreciating the things we do have, the things we can count on. It's back to basics. And the basics are good. Protect them. Put them in good hands. Last year, we've learned a lot. We've learned that meatloaf and Jenga can actually be more fun than reservations and box seats. That who's around your TV is more important than how big it is. That the most memorable vacations can happen 10 feet from your front door. That cars aren't for showing how far we've come, but for taking us where we want to go. We've learned that the best things in life don't cost much at all. And at Allstate, they don't cost much to protect. So protect them. Put them in good hands. his backyard of his house. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's take a look at the live video clip. Hi guys, Jim Carpenter here for my live view of the sun room and the snow outside my house here in Plover, Wisconsin. As you can see, the, uh, the snow is like I probably say about two to five inches above ground. You can still see a little bit of grass and whatnot. And let's see what else we got here. Um, yeah, that that is that is about it. Um, anyway, yeah, so you got the snow and the roads and driveways of other houses that surround my area are clear, but the snow is still on the ground where the grass should be. Um, as you look over here, again, it's the same difference, but at a different angle. Yeah, so... Yeah, that is about it. Alright. See you guys next time. Wow, that was amazing. We hope you enjoyed that video clip, viewers. And right now, we're out of time. Thank you for watching your weather today. 
We hope it can do this again some other time. That's it for now. See ya next time. Oh, hey, Jamie. Can you hear him back a sec? Want to tell me about the boy in this painting? I don't know. Maybe nobody understands him. Well, if he were here, I'd say that being different is what makes him special. Just like our discounts. Each one is unique, but together they help save our customers a lot of money. Okay. Pop quiz, who's my favorite student? Gwen. Yeah, it's Gwen. Yeah, Gwen's the best. Emily's just starting out and on a budget. Like a ramen noodle every night budget. She thought Allstate car insurance was out of her reach until she heard about the value plan. And saving money with Allstate doesn't stop there. Kim and James are what you might call overly protective, especially behind the wheel. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, Allstate gives them a bonus twice a year for being safe drivers. Dollar for dollar, nobody protects you like Allstate. Easter's here. We're at Walmart with Lindsay, who checks all the weekly ads to get the best sale prices. Let me ask you, you think you can get the same great prices here with Walmart's low price guarantee? Let's try. Let's go. I got a full house to impress. Well, you better ham it up. Look at this price. <laughs> That's awesome. What's for Easter dessert? Oh, sugar cookies. My son's helping this year. Look at that. Hey, there's my brand. That's your ad. Walmart will match that price at the register. Really? Yeah, you don't even have to have the ad with you. What? I'm serious. Nice. That's the Walmart low price guarantee backed by Ad Match. Bring your last grocery receipt to Walmart, compare the price. Uh, hello, Geico. Yeah, I was just talking about your emergency roadside service and how it's available 24-7 and then our car overheaters. But what are the chances? Can you send a tow truck, please? Uh, the location? You're not going to believe this, but it's, um, it's in a tree. I wish I was joking, mate, but it's literally stuck in a tree. A chainsaw? No, no. All we really need is a tow truck. Day or night, Geico's emergency roadside service is there for you. I would do anything for love Oh, I would do anything for love I would do anything for love But I won't do that No No, I won't do that Or that Or this And no Not this! Definitely not this! No, I just won't do Happy thoughts, happy thoughts It's burning my eyes Just not what you are thinking of <laughs> It hurts, but I kind of like it Kids, making sure free educational programs are accessible to all children across America. Now with the all-new 24-7 channel, on TV and streaming everywhere, every child, especially those at risk, can watch PBS Kids shows. After school, after dinner, whenever, wherever. It's all coming to you from Wisconsin Public Television. 
Wisconsin Public Television brings you the Lucky Go Happy Sweepstakes. Watch for your sweepstakes letter in the mail. You've got six chances to win great prizes, including our grand prize, a four-night stay at the luxurious Log Gables in the Wisconsin Dells. Other prizes include the 55-inch Smart TV, Gourmet Cookware, or stay at the Bentley Wheeler Bed and Breakfast in La Crosse. The Wisconsin Public Television Lucky Go Happy Sweepstakes. You have to enter by June 1st, so time is running out. Los Angeles, California, a very busy place. Where we are at right now is 4760. Thomas Road and Jefferson Street, Los Angeles, California. As we cross through neighboring fields, the sun beams down on us in many ways. But by the looks of it, it doesn't seem to happen. And yes, the sun is out right now. See that? That is the view. Just look at this place. 4760 Thomas Road and Jefferson Street. Los Angeles, California. I sure hope you guys are having fun watching this video. And yes, we are broadcasting live on Wisconsin Public Television. Yep. That is the right thing to do.
so. As we travel around the world, you will see other places we can go. Our next upcoming adventure later this week is New Zealand. And then the one after that will be joining you live from Australia. Can't wait to see that. Of course. Well, what do you say we go inside? Alright, we are fishing now inside our studios. It's much cooler in here than it is out there. Let's sit down, shall we? Or not. Yeah. <sighs> All right, viewers. I want to thank you all. For joining us and it is Sunday July 16th 2017 this is Jim Crawford's Adventures I'm your host Jim Crawford and I am the owner of this program I own the show no copyright fragment required and if this was a copyright, so what? As long as one mistake doesn't turn out to be the other one. So... That right there is a different story. And I'm glad you can join us live on YouTube for this episode. I will be doing a computer laptop live presentation later this week over the next couple of days as we do Australia and New Zealand. And I hope we can do this more often. Alright, let's go change rooms.
Okay. Looks like we're gonna have we're gonna have some te some technical issues. Um hold on just a sec while I move some stuff out of the way. Now this this is a dictionary, and as you can see, it's for a lot of bookmarks and stuff. Nothing to worry about, but that's fancy. Fancy little thing. Alright, um... So... What we do here in Los, Angeles, in Los Angeles, California, is that we do a lot of touring, visiting family members who live in the area. And We, uh, I should say, I, um, uh, like to do other places besides just one place in Los Angeles, California. And it does sound good to me, of course. If you excuse me about the camera thing, I jump a little bit. Hold on. Just that. There we go. <coughs> um. So yeah. That is one heck of a, of a story that you may know about in the future when you come. Here to Los Angeles, California. Time traveling is fun here on the show for Dream Comfort Tour Adventures. And we like the time travel. As if we were on the show Doctor Who or Harry Potter or whoever. Doesn't matter. Time traveling is fun. And that's what we do about the show. And that's kind of interesting. So viewers, later on after the show, I will post the link on Twitter. On my Twitter account. And. And so. Yeah, that is that is where it starts, and that is where it's going to be for now. So, um yeah. And looking at the time, we have been on here for 15 minutes already. And 
Another thing that I want to do is talk about more time traveling. Later this week, we we'll, later this week we will be visiting New Zealand, Australia, and maybe London. This upcoming Friday before next weekend. Or Wednesday. Or whatever. Anywhere between Wednesday and Friday, our next tour venture will be London. Wednesday or Friday, the 19th or the 21st of July. If we are not too busy. If we are, some some events will be postponed for next weekend between Friday and next Sunday of the following week or later on during during August or September or whatever. So, uh, yeah. That is that is about it. Um, anyway, viewers, for the, for the first time ever, you're watching Jim Carver's Two Adventures. I'm your host, Jim Crawford, and I'm the owner of this program. No copyright fragment required. I own the show. And... I am gonna mind you I'm gonna remind you this one. It has been over eighteen minutes since we've been on the air. Um so yeah, and I think I might have the wrong schedule, so I'm thinking that, viewers, um, for those of you who are watching, I might not have any time to do more live events, so I think Sundays are the best way to go for time traveling, is Sundays. Cause I'm going to be, bu I'm going to be busy all week, all week, six to seven days, max. So, um, anyone watching this now, I'm going to remind you on Twitter, um, that I am going to be doing some more time traveling and touring next weekend instead of during the week because during the week I am busy at the moment um so yeah that is that sorry for the confusion yeah sorry for the confusion um my next adventure will be next Sunday, the 23rd, and the Sunday after that, hopefully, if I can, 
I just might do Australia. So next Sunday, the 23rd July 2017, New Zealand, and the Sunday after that, Australia. Um, so, yeah, that that is the best way to go. Um, another thing I want to mention is that. It is possible that I can do more time traveling later on in the future and visit other countries of the world. And London is another one that I'm thinking of planning on taking a trip to. London. So that's going to be the following Sunday after Australia. So, we're going to go do New Zealand first, and then Australia the next, and the following week from that will be, Lon will be London. And hopefully I, I get my schedule straightened out. Hopefully. I hope. So great show today. Um, I had a fun time on the show. It looks like we're going to run out of time pretty soon. So... Um... Towards the end of the show... I'm going to give you a tour of this room I'm at. And and yeah, that that is gonna be like in the uh, next sixty seconds. I hope the next minute, because I don't want to spend too much time on here in the first place. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Time now for the tour of this room. I'll just push this out of the way. Here we go. And now, let's begin the tour. Alright, here it comes. Dresser, final cabinet, some cool stuff. Calendar and more wall stuff. Door decorations here and there. More wall stuff. A little whiteboard. A uh, clock, another calendar, more wall stuff again, more clocks, TV, TV stand, VCR, kill box, trash bin thing, more wall stuff, of course, big whiteboard. Is all my stuff in the closet. Sign for Newsline 9 and stuff. And my two desks. 
Got a little wall clock thing over there. A map. More wall stuff again. Another map. My bed. Nice stand. Laundry basket. And all sorts of stuff down here too. So it's just some fun stuff to play with. And yeah. And yes. The view outside my window. Well folks. That's going to wrap up our show for now. I'm Jim Crawford and thank you all for watching. Um, yeah. That is that. Um, again, thank you all for watching. I hope I can see you again another time. And, uh, yeah, that is about it. Alright, that's it for now. See you on another time. Have a good day. PBS Kids, making sure free educational programs are accessible to all children across America. Now with the all-new 24-7 channel, on TV and streaming everywhere. Every child, especially those at risk, can watch PBS Kids shows. After school, after dinner, whenever, wherever. It's all coming to you from Wisconsin Public Television. Wisconsin Public Television brings you the Lucky Go Happy Sweepstakes. Watch for your sweepstakes letter in the mail. You've got six chances to win great prizes, including our grand prize, a four-night stay at the luxurious Log Gables in the Wisconsin Dells. Other prizes include the 55-inch Smart TV, gourmet cookware, or stay at the Bentley Wheeler Bed and Breakfast in La Crosse. The Wisconsin Public Television Lucky Go Happy Sweepstakes. You have to enter by June 1st, so time is running out. Professor Tom? Australia is a good place to be. Another continent of the Earth is Canada. Canada is huge. Very good, Professor Tom. But Canada is huger than any other continent of planet Earth. You got that right there, student Ben. 
Canada is a big country on planet Earth. Bigger than Russia. Russia is another continent on planet Earth. It's huger than ever. Alright, let's talk about one last subject. We're going to talk about London, England, the United Kingdom. London is small from outer space, but up close the entire continent on planet Earth is huge. I agree with you there, student Ben. And of course, we're running out of time. Thank you all for coming to class. You're welcome, Professor Tom. And yes, the bell is going to ring now. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Jim Crawford, and I will be doing my first ever YouTube show called Jim Crawford's Adventures. This is not a seasonal episode, it's a special edition series, only once in a while. So let's begin. I'm at right now is a hotel house. This used to be someone's own property. Until recently back in 2005, 12 years ago from 2017, this house was owned by someone until a hotel manager bought the place. This is the Nashville Public Hotel House. It used to be called the Nashville Public Hotel. Or in other words, Nashville Public Hotel. Downtown Nashville, Tennessee. But a short while later, the hotel was reestablished and moved to this location, 14th Street South and Brooklyn Road, neighboring street of Nashville, Tennessee. This house is now a hotel house. If you never heard of a, of a I should say, if you never heard of a such thing, well, I have a room in this location. At this house. Just before I did this special edition series for YouTube, which I'm making right now, I wanted to show you my side of the view. So we're going to go inside right now and I'll show you what my hotel house room looks like. Just my room. No one else's. Okay. Before we do, I want to give you a fair warning. I don't want to make this video too long. So. In the next 48 seconds to 45 seconds, we're going to pause this video scene. And we're going to jump to conclusions. And, before we do, I want to tell you a little bit more about the hotel house. This house has a front porch, a side porch, and a back porch. Now, there is someone in the back room. And she actually works for this hotel house. Okay, enough chit-chat. Let's go in. Okay, so we're inside the hotel house. And we are in my hotel room. 
Over here we have a dresser, windows, laundry basket and stuff, my bed, two desks, and some wall decorations. Behind me as you can see. Over here we have a closet. And down here we have a we have a rocking chair. And yeah, that is about it. So uh now I know for a fact <coughs> excuse me. I know for a fact that this hotel house was reestablished back in 2005. And uh, it was bought by a new owner who now owns the hotel house. And, and it's very popular now these days. So that's it. Alright, let's go on to the final scene. So the next time you come by 14th Street South and Brooklyn Road, 4760, stop by this place, the Nashville Public Hotel House on 4760, 14th Street South, Brooklyn Road. One of the best neighboring streets ever. And yes, that concludes this episode, special edition series. For now, I'm Jim Crawford, and I will see you later on in a few months' time for my next tour video. I probably won't make any more YouTube episodes or special edition videos. I'll just make quick ones. Approximately 60 seconds. Like anybody else would. Alright, that's it for now. We're signing off. Time for the credits. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Beginning Friday. Pick out your one. Your wand, Harry! It's time to live. Wands out. Where's my wand, Hermione? Wands at the ready. My wand. My wand. Look at my wand. What's got your wand in a knot? Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. Get your wands out for Harry Potter. Most powerful wand in the world. It's mine. Our Harry Potter weekend begins Friday at 2.30, 1.30 Central on Freeform. Wands out, Harry. Hi everyone, I'm Jim Crawford for Jim Crawford's Movies on YouTube, and it is July 25th, 2017, and at this time, we are signing off. There will be no Tom and Ben news today. We're going to be off the air for quite some time, and maybe tomorrow we'll do Tom and Ben news. Again, no Tom and Ben news today. Maybe tomorrow. Alright, that's it for the sign off. We're off the air right now. Thank you all for watching. Catch you later on this week. Maybe tomorrow. Ciao.